Imagine the sensation of being surrounded by a symphony of sounds, a euphony of nature's orchestra. This is the enchanting world of the Burmese tropical rainforest. In this captivating realm, every sense is awakened and heightened. The rustling of leaves, like a thousand tiny whispers, fills the air, harmonizing with the rhythmic percussion of raindrops dancing on broad, verdant foliage. The chorus of chattering wildlife rises and falls from the high-pitched melodies of vibrant birds including the majestic hornbills to the deep resonating hum of countless species of insects. A cacophony of life, each sound a note in the grand composition of the wild, including the distant roars of the mighty tigers, the trumpeting of the grand elephants. But the rainforest doesn't merely speak to your sense of hearing. The air is thick with the earthy scent of the forest floor a fragrant blend of damp soil, decaying leaves and the sweet perfume of exotic flowers. It's a scent that's as ancient as the forest itself. A scent that tells a story of life, death, and rebirth in nature's ceaseless cycle. Now let's talk about the Burmese rainforest. Nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, this rainforest is a sprawling expanse of biodiversity. It stretches from the eastern edge of India, through the length of Myanmar, and into the western reaches of Thailand. It's a home to an incredible variety of reptiles, amphibians, birds, and gibbons, each species adding its unique voice to the symphony of the wild. It spans over 100,000 square miles, an area larger than the size of Italy. Within this vast verdant territory, countless species coexist, each contributing its unique voice to the symphony of the wild. From the smallest insect to the largest mammal, each has a role to play in the intricate dance of life that unfolds beneath the rainforest. This is a realm where every rustle, every chirp, every scent carries a tale of the wild, a world where the rhythm of life is set by nature's pulse, an untamed symphony that reverberates through the dense foliage and into the hearts of those who venture here, a world teeming with life, each creature from the mighty tiger to the humble insect playing its part in the symphony of the wild. Above the forest floor, the canopy layer is a vibrant concert of life. This is where the drama of the rainforest unfolds, where life is always on the move and the forest sings its loudest song. The canopy layer, often reaching up to 200 feet in height, is a world of green abundance. It's a haven for a multitude of plant species, from colossal hardwood trees to delicate orchids and bromeliads. These plants have developed unique adaptations to thrive in this high-altitude environment. Epiphytes, for example, are plants that grow on the surfaces of other plants, usually trees, to reach the sunlight they need for photosynthesis. They've mastered the art of living off the bare minimum, taking nutrients from the air and rain. But it's not just the plants that have learned to adapt. In this lofty realm, you'll find an array of creatures that have evolved to exploit every inch of the canopy's resources. Gibbons, with their long arms and agile bodies, swing gracefully from branch to branch. Their loud, haunting calls echo through the forest, communicating messages to other gibbons miles away. The hornbills with their oversized, brightly colored beaks are another spectacle of the canopy layer. Their large beaks serve a dual purpose, helping them to forage for food and to amplify their calls across the expansive forest. And let's not forget the myriad of tree-dwelling reptiles from the vibrantly colored tree pythons to the well-camouflaged geckos. They've all found their niche in the canopy, each playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. The canopy layer is also the rainforest's weather station. It absorbs the brunt of the rain and intense sunlight, creating a protective umbrella for the layers below. This not only shields the forest floor but also influences the climate of the entire region. So you see, the canopy layer is not just a layer of the rainforest, it's a vital, bustling world of its own where every plant and creature has a role to play in the grand symphony of life. In the canopy layer, the symphony of the wild reaches its crescendo. Beneath the canopy, the understory layer hums with a different rhythm of life. This is a world of shadows and whispers where sunlight filters down through the foliage above, casting dappled patterns of light and dark. This is the understory layer of our Burmese tropical rainforest. The understory layer is a unique environment, characterized by lower light levels and a cooler climate. As a result, the plants and animals that inhabit this layer have developed fascinating adaptations to thrive in these conditions. The vegetation here is dense, with shrubs, ferns, and young trees reaching up to 15 feet high, all competing for the scarce sunlight. The leaves of understory plants are often 
large, broad, and dark green, designed to catch and absorb as much of the elusive sunlight as they can. This dense vegetation provides a diverse habitat for a myriad of creatures. Here, you will find an array of insects, reptiles, and amphibians, as well as a plethora of birds and mammals. Many of these animals are specially adapted to life in the understory. For instance, the slow loris, with its large eyes, is perfectly suited to the dim light conditions while the agile gibbon swings through the branches with ease, deftly avoiding the forest floor. Among the bird life, the understory is a haven for species like the hornbills and the broadbills. These birds have bright, contrasting colors, a spectacular adaptation to enable them to communicate and find mates in the lower light. The understory is also home to countless insect species, each playing a vital role in the ecosystem. From pollinating plants to breaking down dead organic material, these tiny creatures are the unsung heroes of the rainforest. The understory layer is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of nature. Each species, each organism, has found a way to not only survive but thrive in this challenging environment. They have each found their niche, their role to play in the grand symphony of life that is the Burmese rainforest. In the understory layer, the symphony plays a softer, more subtle tune. The forest floor, the foundation of the rainforest beats with the pulse of life. Here, where sunlight is a rare visitor, a vibrant world thrives in the shadows. The forest floor, often concealed under a thick carpet of fallen leaves, is a bustling metropolis of biodiversity. It's an arena where the drama of life unfolds, from the smallest insects to the most majestic predators. This level of the rainforest, often less than two meters high, is teeming with life. Insects, such as beetles and ants, scurry about, playing their part in the grand scheme of things. They are the unsung heroes of the rainforest, breaking down organic matter and returning nutrients to the soil. Decomposers, too, hold a key role in this layer. Fungi, bacteria, and other microorganisms break down fallen leaves, dead insects, and decaying trees, turning them into rich, fertile soil. This nutrient recycling is the lifeblood of the forest, providing the sustenance needed for the towering trees and vibrant plants above to grow. The forest floor is also the stage for some of the rainforest's most fascinating inhabitants. Burrowing creatures like earthworms and termites carve intricate tunnels through the soil, aerating it and making it more hospitable for plant roots. Every organism here, from the tiniest microbe to the largest predator, has a role to play in maintaining the delicate balance of the ecosystem. They all contribute to the complex and essential nutrient cycle that supports not only the forest floor but the entire rainforest. The forest floor may be the lowest layer of the rainforest, but it is by no means the least important. It is the foundation on which the rest of the rainforest stands. Without the tireless work of the organisms that call this layer home, the rainforest as we know it would cease to exist. On the forest floor, the symphony of the wild plays its deepest, most fundamental notes. This symphony of life is not just a melody for the ears, but a vital song for our planet. The rainforest, often referred to as the world's lungs, is a pulsating heart of biodiversity. It's a living, breathing entity home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. This incredible diversity fosters a vibrant web of life, where each organism from the smallest insect to the tallest tree plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystem. But the importance of the rainforest extends beyond its rich biodiversity. It's a powerful climate regulator, breathing in carbon dioxide and exhaling oxygen, helping to stabilize our planet's climate. The trees of the rainforest are natural carbon sinks, storing vast amounts of carbon that would otherwise contribute to global warming. And let's not forget about the indigenous communities that call the rainforest their home. For them, the forest is not just a habitat, but a source of food, medicine, and spiritual connection. They've lived in harmony with the forest for generations, their lives intricately woven into the tapestry of the rainforest's ecosystem. Yet despite its immense importance, the rainforest is under threat. Deforestation, driven by logging, agriculture, and mining, is eroding this precious ecosystem. The loss of the rainforest doesn't just mean the loss of a stunningly diverse habitat, it also means a weakened ability to combat climate change and the destruction of indigenous cultures. But there's hope. Conservation efforts are underway to protect and restore the rainforest. By supporting sustainable practices, promoting reforestation, and raising awareness, we can help preserve this magnificent symphony of the wild. 
The rainforest is more than a collection of trees and wildlife. It's a critical part of our global ecosystem, a testament to the beauty of life in its most diverse form, and a reminder of our responsibility to protect our planet. To preserve the symphony of the wild is to ensure the future of our planet. And so, the song must go on.